Hey there, second grade, how's everybody doing today? And welcome back to another remote learning math lesson with Mr. Enzi. And today we are gonna continue to practice working with some coins. Only this time, we're gonna make some change. Wow. So today you are going to need your number grid and your whiteboard and marker. So while you're finding all of that stuff, I'm going to get started and shrink myself into the corner. Today, we are going to be doing grade two, lesson 5.3, counting up with money. And you're going to need your number grid and your whiteboard and marker. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, let's review our coins. We've been practicing four coins. We have our penny. Our penny is worth one cent. And it's our only coin that is copper. And that's a special color. It's like a, a brownish tan color. And then we also have our nickel. Our nickel is a silver coin. And it's worth five cents. So we have to be really good at counting by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty on and on and on awesome job and then we have our dime now our dime is a silver coin and it's our smallest coin but it's not worth the least amount that's the penny the dime is worth 10 cents and then our biggest coin that we've been working with is the quarter and the quarter is worth 25 Sense. Now, we're all good counting by ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're good with counting by fives, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and we're good with counting by tens, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, but counting by twenty-fives can be a little tricky. So, let's practice counting by twenty-fives. Remember that I like to do it as a little rhythm. 25, 50, 75, 100. And then it repeats into the hundreds. 125, 150, 175, and then we go to 200. But our big four, our four big ones are 25, 50, 75, 100. So one quarter is 25 cents, two quarters is 50 cents, three quarters is 75 cents, and four quarters is 100 cents or $1. 25, 50, 75, 100. That little tune helps me to remember counting by 25s. Now, yesterday we went shopping for some produce. And we went and uh, shopped for some fruits and vegetables. And today, we're going to be doing the same. So you'll notice that we have our pears for 13 cents. The oranges is worth 18 cents. And we have our green peppers, 24 cents. Melon slice is my favorite. I love watermelon, 30 cents. We have the plum, 6 cents. The banana is nine cents, another one of my favorites. We have the apple for 12 cents. A tomato is 20 cents. I love a tomato on my sandwich. Onion is seven cents. Ugh, not an onion fan. Lettuce, 45 cents. Corn, 15 cents. And cabbage, 40 cents. So we're gonna be heading back to our fruit and produce store to buy some items. Now today, we are going to get some change. Look at this word here, change. And change means the dollars and coins you get back from buying something. So change means coins. So in my hand, you can hear my coins. So this is one meaning of the word change. It just means coins. Change also means the dollars and coins I get back from buying something. 
So sometimes we don't pay the exact amount. We give them, we give the clerk some money and they give us the, the they give us some change back. So let's try and see if we can figure out what the change is going to be. Now, you're going to need your number grid for this. I'm going to show you how to find the change. So let's see here. I buy a tomato and my tomato is 20 cents. I want you to find the number 20 and circle it. Hmm. Oh, there's my 20 on my number grid. And then it says I pay, oh, I pay with a quarter. That's a quarter. Now, how much is a quarter? Oh, we have to remember a quarter is worth 25 cents. So let's go ahead and circle 25 cents because that's how much we paid. Now we want to find out our change my change is. And the way we figure that out is we start at our smaller number. Now our smaller number is the 20. So I start at my 20 and I start to make hops. And I hop until I get to my bigger number, which is 25. So I'm starting at 20 and then I make a hop. One, two, three, four, and then I land on 25, five hops. So my change is five cents. And I put a C after it and a line goes through that C. So I have five cents change. So if I went to a store and bought my tomato, then what I would do is I would go to the clerk and I would pay the clerk. The clerk would say, the tomato, Mr. Venti, is 20 cents. And I would say, here's my quarter. I would pay a quarter and the clerk would give me back a nickel, five cents. And that would be my change. Pretty cool. So we can use our number grid to find how much change we get. Let's try another one. Clear off your number grid if you were writing on it. Some of you may have put it in your sheet protector or you may have a fancy number grid with you. Oh, let's look at this one. Now, this one says, I buy a pair for 13 cents. So let's circle the cost of the pair, 13 cents. There we go. I pay, oh, and I pay with these really tiny little coins. I pay with one dime and then another dime. How much did I pay with? Dimes are worth 10, so we have 10, 20. So find 20 on your number grid and circle it. Now we want to find how much change we're going to get. So we're at 13 and we want to make hops until we get to 20. So we're going to start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hops. So that means that I would get seven cents back. Wow. So the clerk would say 13 and then she would be handing me some pennies. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And there I'm at seven cents change. Awesome job. You can clear off your number grid. So now I have a little table here. And you're going to see this table today in your seesaw activity. And it's going to be filled in at some po points of this. So the first column is going to say, I bought. And you're going to have what was bought. And you're going to have to fill in how much it costs. And then you're going to see how much you paid for the item. 
and you're going to have to figure out your change. So let's go and do one together. So for number one, and you might want to have your whiteboard ready too. So number one, we bought, we went shopping and we bought the plum. Yum, yum. I love a juicy plum in the summer. So you'll see the word plum, and now we have to see how much that plum costs. So I'm going to head back up to our little store here, and the plum cost six cents. So I'm going to have to fill in my table. It costs six cents. Now the next part I paid is going to be filled in for you. So this time we paid a dime. How much is a dime worth? Now we have to think about that. A dime is our smallest coin and it's worth 10 cents. Now here's where my number grid comes in handy. So now I take my number grid and I'm going to start to circle some numbers. My plum cost six cents, so I'm going to go ahead and circle the six. And I paid with a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. So now I'm going to start at my smaller number, which is six, and I'm going to make hops until I get to my bigger number, which is 10. So let's see. We start at six, we go seven, eight, nine. 10. How many hops did I have to make? One, two, three, four hops. So in my last column, I write, I got in change four cents. See that? We can find the change by using a number grid to help us. All right, let's go ahead and clear our whiteboard, clear our number grid, and let's see if we can try another one together. So I'm going to go back up and look at our store here and see what we're going to buy. Oh, this is a good one. I'm going to buy a banana. Yes. So I'm going to write down banana. And our banana cost nine cents. Now, for my banana, I paid using a quarter. Hmm. What numbers are we going to circle on our number grid? Our smaller number is the number nine. That's how much the banana cost. Now, how much did I pay for the banana? I paid a quarter. How much is a quarter worth? A quarter is worth 25 cents. Now, we have to make a lot of hops to go from nine all the way to 25, but you might remember this trick from first grade. When we drop down, that's 10. I could do the long way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. <laughs> or I can just drop down that elevator one time. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we got 16 cents in change. And then I write a little C with a line that goes through it. Wow, pretty good. Awesome job. All right, let's try another one. One last one. All right, if you have to erase your whiteboard and erase your number grid, you can. This time, oh, we're going to try a harder one. This time, we're going to buy two items. Oh, my goodness. We're going to buy a 
Oh, let's see. Oh, I like the orange and the hmm, the orange and the let's do the orange and the oh apple. The orange and the apple. So let's see. We're going to buy two items. The orange and the apple. Now, the orange is worth 18 cents. The apple is worth 12 cents. How much do they cost in all? Ooh. So we want to start at 18 and count up 12. So let's start. Here's 18, and I want to count up 12. 10, 11, 12. So all together, this equals 30 cents. Now we paid two quarters. How much are two quarters? 25, 50 cents. So now we have to go back to our number grid. And we're going to look at the two numbers we have. 30 cents is how much our items cost. So I'm going to circle 30. And 50 cents is how much I paid. And then I'm going to start with my smaller number. And I'm going to count up until I get to my bigger number. And if you remember counting by tens on a number grid, this is pretty easy. 10, 20. I didn't have to count every single hop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I can just go down. 10, 20. So for this one, I got back 20 cents. Awesome job. Do you know that when you know how to make change, you can go to the store and pay with some money and check to make sure you get the right amount back. When I go to Wawa, I pay money and the coins come out the little bucket. And I always count to make sure I got the right change. That's why it's important to be a great mathematician. All right, second grade, you're going to have some activities in Seesaw where you're going to try to make some change. Go ahead and get started. I can't wait to see how smart you are.